Are you seeing inflation rising and wondering, how can I stay ahead of all of these rising prices? Stay tuned. Step into the Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to hedge against inflation with three real estate types of investment. First, what is inflation and how does it impact us? Well, inflation is the decline of value of money. So when inflation goes up, the cost of, well, just about everything goes up too, which means a dollar buys you less with every passing day. There are a few different tactics to hedge against inflation, such as stocks. However, the stock market can be unpredictable and volatile. Commodities, such as oil, livestock, minerals. But research it thoroughly because the one that's been the favorite and throughout history, gold has not gone up much. Inflation indexed bonds like government issue bonds, which are considered low risk. But low risk also means low reward. (laughs) And then there's real estate. Real estate prices tend to go up right alongside inflation and often can rise faster. Owning real estate does more than protect your wealth. It can actually make you money. For example, homes in Tracy appreciated in value from 2020 to 2021, 29.24% which is way above the average approximate seven to 8% before 2020. Inflation rose approximately 7% in that same time period. And some real estate investments can provide you passive income as well. So let's start first with your primary residence. If you own your own home, you're already ahead of the game. You're most likely locked into that fixed rate interest rate mortgage and your home values have risen already and you're immune to the rising rental costs everybody's experiencing right now. If you don't already own your own primary residence, home ownership is a worthwhile goal to pursue. Give us a call. (laughs) Then there are long-term rentals where you rent out a residence for an extended period of time. To invest a long-term rental, you'll need to budget for things like maintenance, repairs, property taxes, insurance. You'll also need to have a plan for managing the property. But a well-chosen investment property should pay for itself through rental income, and you'll benefit from appreciation as a property rises in value. Then there's short-term rentals or vacation rentals, which you provide fully furnished properties and rent out for 30 days or less. These are the homes that you will find on sites like Airbnb and Verbo. Uh, Short-term rentals can sometimes earn you a higher return on your investment than long-term rentals but it comes at a cost of daily hands-on management. With short-term rentals, you're not only entering the real estate business, but you're also entering the hospitality business. So if you're interested in learning about how to hedge against inflation through real estate, give us a call because we here at the Three Step Realty Group are invested in you. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we have a new video out for you.